viewer I just want to say welcome I am so happy that you're here I am a homeschooling mama too and I love to make homeschooling videos to encourage and motivate homeschooling parents today uh, my video is more geared towards new homeschoolers or parents that are thinking about homeschooler uh, homeschooling I would like to give you some tips if you are at the stage where you're thinking about starting homeschooling this something that has been in your radar for a while or you're you you have decided yes I want to do this what's my next step I want to talk to you a little bit about just a couple things that just tips and a couple ideas of and uh, of things that you you should do and some things that you you could do okay so the first thing that you should do is make sure you know your why why you are homeschooling why if your kids are in school why you're taking your kids out of school okay uh, why if you have little ones you know why you want to start homeschooling start thinking about your why why you want to make this uh, your lifestyle why you want to change your life for to being a homeschooling family this is an amazing journey and it's up ab it's absolutely beautiful um, so I want you to try to hone in why you want to why your why why you want to homeschool why do you see in your future in the future of your children think about that first um, you know before you know you you make it all finalized you know why why you're doing this okay the second thing, which is very important, this is something uh, that you need to do. I'm telling you, you have to do this. You need to find the laws in your state before you take your kids out of school and start homeschooling them. Or if you have little ones and this is just you know starting school, before you start homeschooling them if they're homeschool age, uh, it's very important that you go ahead and you find uh, your laws for your state. You can go to the uh, Homeschool uh, Legal Defense Association. That's what it is, a HSLDA. Um, I'll, I'll put a link below. Um, and find, find you know, your state and find the laws. Some states are really easy to homeschool. I came from a state where I don't, I just needed to do an affidavit at the beginning of the school and when, when I wanted to start homeschooling and that is it. Some states where I am now, I have to file an, an intent every single year. I have to either evaluate my kids at uh, the end of the school year or show progress and meet with an evaluator. So it's a little bit more work and I hear some states is a lot more work than that. So please, please make sure that you go ahead and you check the laws for your state before you take your kids out of school and, or bef and before you start homeschooling, okay? The next thing, start researching what type of, there's so many homeschool philosophies out there. Uh, start thinking about the type of uh, what philosophy you, like, you would like to follow. Start looking at curriculums. Um, based, you know, start thinking about how, how your kids learn best and you'll be able to, it will help you find uh, curriculum. And I have a video I will post on top of things to look for or to think to, you know, consider when you're thinking about curriculum. And I will, you know, post that on top so you can get some ideas of things to do. So start researching all the curriculums, okay? There's a lot out there. But start researching and try thinking about what type of homeschool you want to have. And there's uh, for every every type of, you know, parents and families. So just research that and start looking for, you know, different things, okay? The next thing, this kind of goes with the curriculum part. Don't, when you're looking at things, don't try to look and just get by, 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 and buy all these things that you might not get to. Uh, think about your first year of homeschooling, kind of how you were kind of easing into it. Um, try to just maybe think about the basic reading, math, and um, writing, and just kind of like you know concentrate on that especially for the first year don't and you know don't try to get this too many extracurricular things and too many extra classes just trying to stay with the basics the things that that your state tells you to teach which is going to be also science and social studies and um but all the extra things maybe for the first year you don't need to add and maybe the year the second year add one more thing and keep adding but don't try to put too much in your place your first year it's going to be a learning um experience for it's going to you're going to have a learning curve for your for yourself for your children especially if your children are coming out of public school um it's gonna be it's gonna be tough i'm uh, you know my my when we started homeschooling my child was coming out of public up uh, a school she went to school for three years so we started when she was in fourth and that was rough just to try to 
change her mentality, change my mentality, especially because I'm a classroom teacher. So just take that first year to do the basics and just take your time with, with school and enjoy the whole process of homeschooling. And the last thing I have for you, I think it's tip number five. I think I gave you five things. Um, talk to other parents before you take the plunge. Talk to other parents that have been doing this for a while. Uh, if you don't know anybody that homeschool, maybe join a Facebook group. You can find every town anywhere has Facebook groups for homeschooling. Find them, search, and join the groups and ask questions. Also, if you find a curriculum that you really like, uh, they usually have uh, um, f Facebook pages for for that, you know, for support for parents that are, that are specifically for that curriculum or that philosophy or that lifestyle, anything. So join those groups, go in there and ask questions and you will get some good answers. That's a lot of people that are very knowledgeable and wise people out there that will help you. Also, you know, go ahead and read and look at, you know, our uh, YouTube videos. Before I started homeschooling, I looked at so many videos and that's how I got the idea that I wanted to start making homeschooling videos because I enjoy watching, you know, the, the videos from other moms and I learned so much from them. Uh, I still watch tons of videos. I just been you know, researching a, a curriculum for my little one that started, you know, kindergarten in the fall. And I've been looking at so many videos of things that I wanna, you know, what I wanna do with him for you know, kindergarten. So just keep, here YouTube is a great resource. Look at videos and, and just research, ask questions. And so just make sure you're, you're, you're in there, you ask questions and you find somebody that can help you. It's kinda, kinda be your mentor. And if you don't know anybody, like, you know, that, that you know, you know, personally find those online groups because you will find tons of great help. Okay. So these are my five tips for people, for parents that are thinking about homeschooling. Um, they're there, can I, you know, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm almost, you know, or, or yes, I'm going to do this, you know, what's next. So these are my five tips of things that, you know, for, for you to consider things that, like I said, by the law that you need to do, that is not just take it. If you want to know, you have to do that. Uh, so that's very important. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure if you're a new viewer to, to hit the subscription button. Also make sure you hit the notification bell so you may uh, make sure you um, don't miss any of my homeschooling videos. Now in the summer I'm going to be making, telling you what I'm using for curriculums. We are reviewing, I'm reviewing some you know, curriculum for the next month. I'm joining uh, some of the YouTube, YouTube moms and we're going to be reviewing our curriculum and just tons of things that are coming up for uh, next school year. This is when we start making our videos and showing you things that May, June, and July for next school year. How are we planning for the next school year? So just make sure to stay tuned by hitting that um, notification bell. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, my, for so much for being here. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will see you all soon. Bye.